morning YouTube so we're currently in Houston and we're gonna be on our way to Austin it is currently 6 30 in the morning my consultation is at 11 so we're about to be on our way and be on the road I'm here with my lovely baby who's over here eating a hot pocket Good it's morning. freezing so let's go all right guys so unfortunately we had to go get gas and I got this creeper outside freezing because it's freezing cold and I couldn't go outside and pump gas so gas time sorry it got super dark I just see it on the screen all right guys so we made it to Austin my baby is asleep he's knocked out um it was pretty difficult to find. It was in like a shopping center. It was one of the offices I really, really ducked off. It's on the main street, but I came from the opposite side. So I actually uh, messaged Dawn on the Facebook, which uh, she, if you guys don't know, she's another doll who, um, she was the first one, first doll at Austin with Dr. Alvarez. So I know she po uh, posted on Facebook that she had an uh, issue trying to find the location. So I messaged her and then she actually called me and explain to me exactly where it was at and now I'm here so this is actually the place and we're actually in like an hour early so well, we can't really tell we're an hour early so we're just gonna chill here for a bit until it's time to go in so I'm gonna do my makeup really quick because I look like a hot mess sorry for the horrible angle but I was doing my makeup and they just called me to confirm my appointment they wanted to make sure that I was actually coming in and I told them that I was actually sitting outside my car doing my makeup while my baby's still asleep since we had a long drive but let's go inside and see what Dr. Oliver says about this body I'm expecting him for this uh, to say that I have to lose at least 10 or 15 pounds I'm just expecting it if not then great I don't have to be on a diet but I'm still watching what I eat so let's go so I just filled out the paperwork. He's over here on his phone because he's bored. So now that I have makeup on, I look like an actual person now. Not just a ghost in the morning because it was like I'm 5 o'clock like in the morning. Yeah, because I was like 5. Was, what? I'm trying to look like a person. Yeah, you just sheepy. Sheepy butt. But we're here in the office. The office looks really nice. Fill out the paperwork now. We're just gonna wait until they call us in. Hopefully, you guys could hear us. I just don't want to yell because I'm in an office. I gotta have my inside voice. My oh, baby, here she be. week I was 164 so I was upset because I gained four pounds because I was at 160 I just checked I'm 160 again so I lost four pounds which is good so that means that tea has been helping yeah you can smell it he's upset because the bathroom smelled like 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 roses to the day well I have to take your temperature I need to substitute well, doctor you for not me. no doctor Roll heels to the neck there for you. Your <laughs> What's your favorite word you learned over there? Breast augmentation. Augmentation. <laughs> My word of the day. But you like an augmentation. <laughs> They're sitting on the counter. You can eat one at any time you would like doing <laughs> you this can visit. Just eat one. It's like a fancy chip. The hydraulics. Is the question. That's what the people want to know. That's too close to the wall. I know, but you're the camera. You want the camera. Let me see. Did you got to show the angle? Okay. Come here. Do I supposed to put my shoes on? Yes, but just hurry up. No. See, you can get that. They gonna know some shoes is on there. Babe, I just got on your shoes. Oh, gosh. They're going to see this video and they're going to take your BBL out. They're going to suck it back. <laughs> we 
yeah, awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so yeah, let me just take a quick peek at your belly and let me just kind of see what we're working with and what we want. So first thing I notice is you got really nice skin, which is half the battle. Because what we want this skin to do after we suck all that fat out is to retract back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so being young, having nice thick skin is really, really good. I'm sorry. So we'll definitely get really aggressive to get as much fat out as we can, especially from the front, the sides, the back, to really kind of contour you out. And that will get you really snatched. But the key here is to give you a little bit more hip. Because giving you a little bit more hip is really going to give you those curves that kind of everybody's looking for. Uh, and then around over here is giving you a little bit more projection, but really getting aggressive here, rounding out the hips and projection. I think you're gonna look awesome. Do you think I need to lose weight? That was my biggest thing. Well, there's never, there's never an excuse not to have a good, healthy lifestyle, right? So, you know, what I t could I, you know, could you lose some weight? Absolutely, I think that would be good for your health. And even after the surgery, I think it's going to be important to maintain a good, healthy lifestyle. That being said, don't kill yourself saying, oh my God, I need to lose 10 pounds because all this fat that we're talking about, we're going to take out and we're going to use a lot of it. If we don't use it, we throw it away. Okay. Okay. So I don't think you're necessarily like super overweight that, you know, you need to lose weight for the surgery now. I know my first consultation, they told me, oh, uh, with another doctor, like, oh, yeah. lose 10, 15 pounds. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And well, the reason why is because that's less lipo for them to have to do. <laughs> yeah, so, and ultimately, there's no question that it will help shape you out a little bit better, but, I mean, I'm going to be in there anyway, so I'm going to take out as much as I can. Please. Yeah. In Miami, okay. we tend to get really aggressive, so uh, we're trying to bring that culture over here, here, you know. So, um, so yeah, no, I think it's, uh, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. You know, it's become very, very popular, obviously. Um, it takes about an hour and a half, usually. You're thin, on the thinner side, so I don't think it's gonna take that long. Um, other than that, I always tell people it is a big surgery. People think, ah, it's not a big scar, it's small little things, it's no big deal, it's just lipo. It's gonna kick the crap out of you, okay? You gotta expect to be down for the count for about seven to 10 days. The biggest issue I see is people, you know, will lose blood from this procedure. It's known, obviously, if we do a really aggressive lipo, we're going to lose some blood. So you're going to feel really tired, fatigued for about that seven to ten day period. Uh, so most people go back to work at that point, but they're still kind of sluggish because mm -hmm. it takes your body a little bit to kind of keep up uh, and catch up with the blood loss. Uh, it's not uncommon in the first couple of days to feel really lightheaded, have your heart kind of racing, you know, wanting to pass out if you get up from laying down too quickly. Uh, so it's really important you have somebody taking care of you. Um, you will live in a faja, a compression garment, for about three months. Very, very important. This is a process, okay? It's a journey. It's not something that happens overnight. You will see an immediate change. So from one day to the next, you're going to be like, bam, okay? okay? But just realize that your body has to get used to all the swelling, you know, all that fluid that's in there. And so you'll have good days and bad days, but it is a process. So I had a question with the Fajas. Where do they measure you? Because I know I bought the kit from you yeah. guys. So, so what happens is the day before surgery for your pre-op appointment, they'll get you in to try different sizes. And you'll kind of figure out what fits your body. Now, you have to realize two things. Number one, obviously we're going to lipo the areas of the belly. Um, and then also your booty is going to grow a little bit. That being said, though, Tighter's not better at the beginning, okay. okay? We don't want tight, and the reason why is because that's what causes the skin to die. When girls get into really tight garments before the skin is healed, it causes some problems. Is that like what causes like lipo burn? I mean, mm -hmm. skin, yeah, so, so it's not really a burn. So people call it lipo burns, and you're mm -hmm. right. It's not a burn, okay? We don't use anything that's heat in this, right? Because if we use heat, we kill the fat. Mm -hmm. If we kill the fat, then it's no good to transfer, right? So it's not a burn. What it is, is it's a multitude of things. Liposuction obviously affects the blood vessels, right? You have bleeding, we, we hurt some of the blood vessels in the process, right? So that's problem number one. But that, there's nothing we can do about it. Other, the only way to solve that problem is not to do liposuction, mm -hmm. right? Problem number two, compression. Too tight of compression causes tissue necrosis, so death of the skin from pressure, right? If I held onto your wrist for two hours like this and didn't give your blood, blood supply to your hand, your hand would die, mm -hmm. right? That's just the name of the game. So, so compression, tight compression is problem number two. Problem number three is pressure, okay? You're going to lay down, okay, in bed, and you're not going to feel anything. After the surgery, you're not going to feel anything on your belly in the areas of lipo. It's going to be numb. 
right? So what happens? When you're not numb, your body's constantly shifting. You don't think about it, but you're constantly shifting your weight, you know, when you're sitting down so that it, it relieves the pressure and allows blood to flow again. Well, when you're not feeling anything, you don't have that ability to move and reposition. So it's also like a pressure wound as well. So those three things is what causes lipo burns. You know, one, we can't do anything about liposuction. The other two, we can. And so we do, we, what we say is number, for problem number two is not too tight. We want it snug to control the swelling, but we don't want it tight. We're not trying to get you snatched because of a tight faha. Mm -hmm. That's a big misconception. A lot of girls think, oh, if I get into a tighter faha now, I'm going to be more snatched. That's not true. You're going to cause problems if you do that. Oh. Number three, so problem number three is the pressure is getting up and moving around. So not laying in bed for six hours at a time you know, um, and getting up, moving around and stuff like that. So I don't use drains mm -hmm. anymore. I used to back when I first started. Uh, this is very different than a tummy tuck. Okay. I use drains and tummy tucks. The reason why I went away from using drains is because liposuction causes tracks, right? So when you actually look in there, there's a bunch of tracks. Okay. And fluid is being produced everywhere. If you put a drain through one tract, Yes, there are some other tracks that may find its way to the drain, but not all the tracks find its way to the drain, right? So then you've sealed up everything and everything now only can go through the drain. So if all those tracks don't make it to the drain, they stay in the body, right? So if I leave the incisions open, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where the track did, it's going to find its way out. And it's super messy. It's like a crime scene, but is the most effective way to get fluid out. Okay. So that's why. Cool. Awesome. I'm also getting lipo to my arm okay. and chin, so I don't know. Yeah, I think, you know, those will be a little bit more subtle changes because I don't get too aggressive in the arms because this skin is much, much thinner than this one. Mm -hmm. uh, number, so, and number two, you don't really have a lot of fat. You have a little bit, and definitely I can help contour that a little bit more. Um, but I don't want you to think I get super aggressive here mm -hmm. and that for that reason. I get super aggressive over here. I just don't get super aggressive there because there's okay. no, there's more risk of causing like a, you know, lunch lady arms. We don't want that. Okay. I was worried. I was like, I don't have big arms, but I guess. Yeah. So, all right. Awesome. Any other questions, concerns? Mm, yeah. No, I'm ready. Okay. But, you know, um, we are working on building that staff here, here. as well, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. Funny. So maybe by then we'll have somebody, you know, Do to it. document your entire okay. process. Thank okay? you so much. Okay? You're very welcome. Hang in there, okay? Nice to meet nice you, bud. You. All right? Thank you. Take care. I'm scared that my stomach's going to start growling in the middle. I'm excited now. I'm happy that I talked to him. Are you excited, babe? How do you feel? Let's see how you, how do you feel? I don't know. Nervous. That's about it. I don't know. Nervous. It's cool. I'm nervous. Be able to vlog this. Kind of cool experience. Not used to this stuff. I'm starting to learn more about it. Um, definitely because I'm starting to do video with um, surgeons and uh, surgeon offices and stuff like that. Uh, but I just still don't fully understand it. I just was never brought into the surgery world like this. So it's cool learning the new stuff. Um, like I say, and being able to capture it because that's what I like to do. Um, but definitely don't like that. It's gonna be like a lot of bruising. That's kind of scary. But I mean, that's what she want. That's what she get. Thank you, baby. And I'm in good hands. You see, Dr. Alvarez is very thorough, explain to us the yeah. process very good at explaining it so now we can understand it now I understand it a lot more um so I mean I think I think we'll be good just ready to get it over with because I'm ready to start back going on trips <laughs> and the money all right me aesthetics thank you for your consult and I'm sorry we whispering because we're in the office but yep Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, I know this page and Dana turned it to her page, so. No, I didn't. Pretty much. It should be Alley plus sticks or Alley sometimes sticks, but. <laughs> Anyways, 
we're gonna close this video um thanks for watching i just wanted y'all to see how our consult went don't forget to like and subscribe to our page again and continue watching and follow us on our journey for my bbl say bye baby peace